you, I'm Graham Olkins. Thank you for being with us tonight. We begin with new video of a major bubbling site near the sinkhole in Assumption Parish. Officials tell Nine News it is the biggest pool they've seen yet. WAP's Cheryl Mercedes reports for some living in the area, the boils have gotten a little too close for comfort. You're looking at what some folks in Bayou Corn refer to as the mother of all bubbles. It's the most active bubbling pool the Assumption Parish Office of Emergency Preparedness reports it has seen. This map of Bayou Corn shows the sinkhole in the shape of a circle, the new bubbling site next to it. The community, yep. some 3,000 feet away. Uh, the, Nick Romero has seen bubbling in uh, his own yard. A little scary because now I... You know, I know it's all around me. He knew it was only a matter of time before the evidence would surface after gas was detected on his property. It's a, identified that there's a, uh, a gas zone down below my property here, and it's uh, somewhere near 25 to 35 foot down. Romero's only comfort is the air monitor attached to the outside of his work shed and the gas monitors inside. The parish has been reading the monitors and double-checking Texas Brine's work. Homeowner Mike Schaff says he has lost faith in Texas Brine. What you're saying is that it was no detectable levels of, uh, of uh, hydrocarbons when they were doing the testing. They said that for, for several weeks until the uh, sinkhole collapsed, and then they changed the tune. It was... Uh, within a few weeks, they said it was uh, thermogenic. Meaning it was coming from a natural gas source. Residents say they're not so sure anyone is going to fix the problem. Some are convinced Mother Nature has already taken over. They want the state to step up. I'm not so much worried about having the governor come down here and, and you know, have a handshaking you know, session. I'd like to see him put a little more pressure on them, you know, to get to get them to move on getting the residents that want to get bought out get us out of here texas brine has installed vent wells to flare the gas but residents fear they won't work fast enough to keep the pressure from building in the bayou and honestly i don't think they're, they they know the problem cheryl mercedes wafb 9 news a spokesman for texas brine says the company just got the right-of-way agreements to start building a road which will allow them to install at least three more vent wells between Bayou Corn and the sinkhole. That process is expected to start this week.